um, you know, there there are songs we listen in our culture as well, yeah. like a lot of reggaeton now. Yeah. And you you get the rhythm. And sometimes you don't even get the word. Yeah. But when it's real catchy, you get it. You get it, yeah, and, yeah. And I think it says a lot that if you're performing in front of a French audience yeah. and they're singing with you, you know, that it, it, you know that's a great thing. That It yeah. means they know the music, they're there genuinely because yeah. they're fans. So, yeah, I can definitely revel in that moment. Yeah, man, it, was, it was a good moment because what you're when they call about. in my name, when they call my name on stage and they... The applause that I get, mm -hmm. it was. I was so nervous. I hadn't been so nervous. I, I was so <laughs> the, just the applause that I get. It was overwhelming. So you know, it was a good vibe. I love it. Awesome, man. Great to share. Yes. So there you have it, man in France and the French people singing along to Mr. Malvo. He's, they're not the only ones singing to him right yeah, now. Yeah, right, everyone. And and I tell you what, you had a a, a brief hiatus, you know, in terms of being on the front page and the headlines, but. Yeah. Uh, you say you were producing, so yeah, we were producing. So we kind of, you know, after that time, we 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 say we're gonna we want to do move to a different level, and um, there was a lot of reducers, not producers. Wow, you know, what I mean, so we we say, you know, it's only best for us who know the business to yeah. do to do the production. So we went, me and Anton Red Rose, we went, we come together and we went in the went in the studio and started get a label and start to produce some. We made some good songs. We make some real good songs. In that time, in the, in the nineties, we made some good songs. You know. Right, and you mentioned one particular one uh, in an earlier discussion about uh, that you produced a hit with Beanie Man. Yeah, Beanie Man is called Wicked Man. I make a big hit with um, um, Cabra. You know what I mean? Okay. Captain Barky. You know yeah. that was a big song for him too. You know, we were, we had a rhythm called um, Quarter to Twelve. Yes. Yeah, I yes. was the one who produced that. Oh, really? Yes, that rhythm was a big rhythm in, in those it times. It was, it was. And then we produced other songs, you know, Bojo Bantan, we, put, we produced everybody, you know, everybody you can think about we, in the business, we really okay. get a touch of it. And then after that, we, um, we, 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 we finished with that label and I have my own label called Real Music Now. Now I have a, a label called Real Music. Right. Yeah. And, and again, we're going to touch on something here. You mentioned you have a show. Yeah, called what? Real music as real well. Real music on, Mondays. On radio? Yeah, real music right. Mondays. Yeah. So, so and, um, tell us that a little flavor, about and that. that flavor radio, and, uh, and in, in, in um, Atlanta, we have a, we have a, a, a we do a radio show called um, Real Music Monday and that flavor radio. So right. So yeah. the flavor radio dot com. Yeah. You know. www dot the flavor radio dot com. So every every second Monday. We do it. You know, I mean, from eleven p.m. till one a.m. Me and Mikey Sparkle. There you go. Yeah. So there you can get more of uh, yeah, the man, the Anthony vibe. Malvo. And it's a nice show. Music. You know, we talk about anything and we play real music. That's right. Yeah, you know what I mean? I personally will need to check that out. That's yeah, some definitely. Too. Yes. All right. Well, um, great information, man. Uh, I, again, we're just so happy to have you. Yes. You're working on uh, the release of an album. Right. That's that's gonna be released pretty soon we're actually doing this interview in march of 2013 right and you have an album that you're you know planning on releasing in april yeah which is about a month out so yeah, for tell us about the new album well this, this album is called stronger and um i give it the name stronger because i think i'm more stronger now getting in in um so long in the business i think i'm, I'm more strong in the business now it, it, it's compiled of 17 songs and it's come it's it's it's, it's based off um culture music and um lovers rock you know what i mean because i'm i'm a lover singer i, I love lovers rock and right. um, culture is you know i love culture because it speak about um it speak about the, the almighty god and how to live right in your in in, in in the almighty sight and it speak about the hard life of the people in the ghetto we we're going through you know we, I'm, I'm the voice of the, the the poor people so we speak we sing about it that you know what i mean people can hear about what people is going through so that's what that's what the album is based upon but it's a nice album still you know it's nice okay um as far as the the the, the new album is concerned one of the things we've come to expect from malvo yeah is that duet that duo with somebody yeah. that's yeah. gonna just hit it yeah are there any on the new album well on the album we have um with sizzler we have a, we have a nice song i think we have a song with joe's well too yes yeah we have a song with joe's wow. called um natty rule uptown and and the sizzler can't can draw me out you know what i mean right so that's a good good vibe i've heard the sizzler can't draw me out yeah. and uh, i am truly looking forward to that i think that's gonna do well it sounds yes. great it's, and the joe's well and all this stuff too it's nice really i look nice forward vibe. to hearing yeah, that yes, one yes, yes. 
And so, yes, um, fans of Malvo, you will have duets on yes. the on the yeah, on the it. you have to on, do it on the I'm... on the new album. Yeah. Um, tell us also about some of the singles. I've heard one. Um, I will never leave you lonely. That I just can't get out of my head. Yes. Since I that's, since I've that heard song it. was made when I was, I made that song when I was about eighteen years old. When I was going to school, I made that song, and you know we just put it down, and then after a couple of years. I pick it up back and then we just do a thing with it and fix it up and it, it was a nice vibe. Then we have um, Kian draw me out with me and says like, you know, I was in Jamaica last year and you know I had this song so I said, I need to put somebody on this song, you know what I mean? And I went to Sizzle and he loved it so we just did it and it was a, a nice vibe, you know what I mean? And I have to tell you, you seem to have a knack for just pulling the right person right. to put with the right songs definitely to, to sell it really to, yeah. to, to get it out that, there. Uh, you have to you have to really listen and know what the person which song fit which person you know what I mean yeah you know and it's not every song fit a certain person but it's that song fit him and then you have perhaps perhaps is a song that I, I love from a long time it's an old Dennis Brown song and um, it was a great song and uh, it's, there's a there's a history about it though when we was gonna when we were recording this thing, we recorded it in um, New York in right. Dan One Studio, mm -hmm. and um, it was about three o'clock in the morning. Right, and it was only me and the engineer there at that time. Right, and in the when I was recording in in the in the in the, in the, in the, um, the DJ the, the music boat. Yes, the, the voice in boat mm -hmm. was only me alone in the boat. And then I was when I was singing the song, there's a, a Guinness bottle stopper just drop at my feet, and I was wondering, <laughs> wow. What is this? Where did this come from? I didn't you know. So I was telling my friend, the, the engineer, I said, you know, so this is place where Dennis Brown always hung out at this place all the while, you know. That's when Dennis Brown died already. Right. Yeah, so he always been to that place. Every time he come to New York, he's, that's where he hung out. So I guess Dennis Brown was there. You know what I mean? Wow. So so you're in the middle of uh, using a booth that Dennis Brown has used yeah, a lot in, his, in lot, the past. Yeah, in the past, yeah. You're doing a tribute to him. To, yeah, right. And then there's this bottle stopper yeah out of nowhere out of nowhere just drop at my feet a guinness bottle stopper and i'm saying guinness dennis brown loved to drink guinness <laughs> oh my goodness so you know what i mean i couldn't even say anything else you know what i mean goosebump <laughs> moment wasn't yeah, it? yeah yeah i could trust me and i i don't know every time people hear that song they say they say it don't sound like me i'm gonna say oh you mean not sound like me I said boy how they sound like like the ex like dennis brown himself and blah but so maybe it was just into me. It, was, it came into my in my vibe, and it just let the song get even sweeter. But that's good because Dennis Brown is my idol right. in music. Because I, I was I was gonna uh, actually segue into the old perhaps and and, yeah. and the Dennis Brown connection because when I listen to the song and when you listen to the song, yeah. you're gonna say the same thing. <laughs> the, the the song was like listening to Dennis Brown. Right, right, and, right. And right. the funny thing is, I said that. Yeah. About the song, even before I knew yeah. about your 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 passion for Dennis right, Brown, right, right, and right, and then for you to tell me about that experience while recording yeah. the song, to me, perhaps has just gone another level. Yeah, because and 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 I, and I wasn't trying to sing it like Dennis Brown. I was trying to keep my own style. Yeah, because you know I know George Knox, you know him about Dennis Brown. You know, right. a, lot of, a lot of us come off Dennis Brown, like George Knox, um, Frankie Paul. Richard Stevenson, you know what I mean? Because yeah. Dennis Brown, you know, we love yes. Dennis Brown. Yes. So I wasn't trying to get into Dennis Brown, you know what I mean? I want to get my own thing. But that song was, but you couldn't do no better. It just, just, it just sounded like the, the king. It my, almost sounds divine. Yeah, so like my, <laughs> so like my yeah. But, yeah, like, but I, 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 I love it still, you know what I mean? I love it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, um, I'm going to do um, video this song too. Okay. You know, I'm going to, so, so it's, got, it's, it's, it's a single from the, from the album, that's the single we were trying to promote for the album. Perhaps, yeah, so perhaps, perhaps, perhaps it's gonna be the driving force behind yes, the album. Yes, yes, uh, yes Stronger. Yes. So yeah. you're gonna do a video shoot. Yeah, and definitely stuff. video shoot. So it's gonna be nice too. You know what I mean? So, so we look forward to that. Yeah, we look forward so to that. We look we, to having the video yeah, on this show at yeah, some point. Definitely and gonna, <laughs> and you can check it out on YouTube, and it's gonna be all any any kind of um, our video. Um, outlets we're going to try to get done it as you can see and, it. and you had mentioned too that there are about what 17 tracks so it's a good package yeah in good terms package of what yeah your, your passion yeah is yeah for the so music. everybody about anything you like is there a little of everything a little of everything great stuff great stuff yeah. just just um just shed some more light for us on where this um, music is available 
and well, not just the upcoming album because it's not out yet. It's not out yet, speak, but we're but trying to get it on iTunes and all of the um, distribution um, media. We're going to try to get it on. So as time goes by, you'll we, we'll inform the, the people where to get it. You know what I mean? But you know, definitely iTunes is going to one, one of the you know leading places. But we're going to get it on a lot of different things. But as time goes by, we're going to make sure because I'm on Facebook. You can open up on Facebook and you know, Anthony Malvo. You know, okay. Facebook, A Malvo. We have three Different. Malvo Bless. Okay. You know, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram. Just look for my so name. So, which one is mostly for the fans, though? Which Facebook page? Well, all see? of them, because we, oh, we, that's what okay. we do. We, that's what we do. Okay. We just use the Facebook for the fans, not, not nothing personal. Just okay. Just fans okay. and Twitter fans, you know. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. Um, in terms of a compilation, yeah is there like a compilation of your greatest hits or you well know? We, we, you know after uh, yeah we, we're thinking about that you know we, we, we um a couple years ago we come out with one called the best of the 80s and 90s that was all the, the top song that you know right a, that's a good collection that's mm -hmm. a real, so we're gonna give it a little more time a little more time like a couple more years from now we because that one trust me that one was the one that is the best Anthony Marvel, the best of the 80s and 90s that's about all of the hit song from the 80s and the 90s and right. that's the one that you love, you know what I mean? That's a good yeah. collection. Yeah, you know what I mean? They can check it out, you know, VP Records you, you distribute it and, you know, I think you can find it on iTunes too, so, you know. Great information. Again, we have an exclusive with Mr. Anthony Malvo, yep. you know, and uh, he's got an upcoming album. And you can say you heard that right here on the Wayne All Show, 516 Production. Definitely. Um, Mr. Malvo, I think we pretty much uh, touched on about yeah. everything we could today. You yes, know? I had, I had um, a good time. It was a good vibe. It's it it good. was great to have yeah, you, man. Yeah, we look definitely. forward to doing it again because, yeah, one, we're looking forward to videos yes. and also an update for your fans right here definitely. on the Wayne All Show. And when the album is out, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, I want to come back, so, you know, one more time. Yeah, man. So it's been a pleasure to have you and uh, it's definitely good so luck with the upcoming album, man. Yeah, man. Bless. Thank you. Respect.